Hello, it's Dr. Steven Tubielli here, your urogyne doctor. And in this video, we're gonna answer the question, what is pelvic organ prolapse and what are solutions for this condition? Okay, so let's get started. So I'm, I'm a board certified urogynecologist and I've been practicing for 16 years, uh, taking care of thousands of women who have this condition called pelvic organ prolapse. It is a very common condition. Um, a lot of women have it, but don't talk about it because they're embarrassed. Um, and they feel they're the only ones. But um, essentially what it is, is where the uterus or the bladder or the cervix um, or the rectum falls through the vagina. Um, and so a woman can complain, what symptoms does a woman have? She may complain of a bulge. She may complain of a pressure, um, kind of a falling out sensation. She may feel something there. It's a lot of patients have told me they felt a bulge in the vagina when they were taking a shower or when they after they've had a long day at work or if they've lifted something heavy they may feel something suddenly drop um, it causes pressure uh, it's very uncomfortable and, and not in, and sometimes um, it can actually cause pain but most of the time it's just a pressure discomfort a falling out sensation um, a, a, some women may have to, may find they have to lean forward or backwards um, to empty the bladder or have a bowel movement. Some women who have a bulge actually describe to me that they have to place a finger in the vagina or on the skin between the vagina and the rectum to support uh, that area when they're having a bowel movement, and that's called splinting. Um, a lot of women also feel pain within a course as a result of it. They feel like something's in the way. Um, they may have a, a difficulty emptying the bladder. They may have to strain or bear down to empty the bladder. So, so many different symptoms that women can have. And why does this ha why does this happen? Well, um, you know, a lot, one of the risk factors is childbirth. A lot of women who've had children, especially vaginal childbirth, not that women who've had a C-section cannot have it, um, but it's more commonly seen in women who've had a vaginal delivery where the um, you know there's some uh, tissue that um, has been torn, muscles ligaments that have been stretched or torn as a result of you know uh, having a child and a woman who's had a child understands that um, and so that's one of the major risk factors so at, when women are younger they oftentimes have sustained either an injury or some sort of tearing to the pelvic floor that then later on in life can then um, present as um, can lead to prolapse and usually it starts there and then as a woman gets older or there's heavy lifting repetitive heavy lifting or constipation where there's a lot of straining on the pelvic floor um, or some women um, it may be a habit that they picked up it could be smoking that accelerates the aging process or weight gain obesity that can to be a risk factor for prolapse so some of these are, are risk factors for prolapse that then um, present lead to a woman having a drop of either her bladder, the rectum, um, um, bulging into the vagina, we call that a rectocele, or a bladder falling into the vagina, which is called a cystocele, or the uterus actually falling down, which is called a uterine prolapse. Another risk factor that I commonly see as a urogynecologist is a woman who's had a hysterectomy. And so the uterus and or cervix has been, had been removed in the past for whatever, uh, various reasons. It could be bleeding, it could be pain, uh, fibroids, and then that then becomes a risk factor for prolapse because um, there is a, uh, areas that either were not resupported at the time of the in initial surgery. Some women may have had a hysterectomy for prolapse and then they d uh, develop a bulge later in life and they wonder why that happened. And so these are things that I talk through with women and explain why this is occurring. And um, after an examination, then we're able to determine and come to a solution that actually works and is safe and effective. Um, and so what does that evalu evaluation look like? Well, when patients come and see me in the office, um, um, I review their history. Um, and after that, there's an evaluation, an exam, de uh, to determine exactly what is coming down. Is it the bladder? Is it the rectum? Or um, is it a combination of both? Or is it the uterus um, alone? So it can, it can present in different ways where women may have more than one area that's oftentimes coming down. And, and that's important to get an evaluation from a urogynecologist because some women may feel, oh, I was told my bladder came down and they, I examined them, it's really, they have a rectocele, the rectum is bulging to the vagina. Or they may say, oh, uh, I think my bladder is dropping and in, and in addition to the bladder dropping is the uterus. So if the bladder is addressed alone, the uterus will continue to fall and there'll be an issue. Or if the uterus was thought to be the only issue, but it's the bladder as well, then after women have a procedure to address a uterine prolapse, 
then the bladder comes down later. So the, or they start leaking urine. So there's so many different things that go into the evaluation of a woman who has a pelvic floor issue like prolapse that seeing a boy certified urogynecologist is key because we look at all the areas. We determine what the risk factors were and how to best address the area so that we can minimize things from coming back. So there are various solutions. Um, a woman should not have to feel that she has to live or put up with it. Um, some women choose, um, if it's early on, a woman just had a baby and there's some weakness there, there, it, there may be a role for pelvic floor muscle strengthening or Kegels or pelvic floor physical therapy to help to prevent prolapse. But pro, um, Kegels may not be the best um, treatment for prolapse as it's been shown to really be an effective long-term strategy. So um, some women may choose a pessary, which is a ring-like device, uh, kind of looks like a diaphragm, goes in the vagina and helps to hold the area up that is falling. Um, and women are fitted for that and, and there are things that go into that. Or if a woman, or a lot of patients who see me choose, end up choosing a surgery. And we um, offer procedures, I offer procedures that are minimally invasive, whether it's a vaginal procedure or a laparoscopic robotic procedure. Um, and the advantages of minimally invasive surgery is compared to an abdominal incision or major operation, there's less bleeding, less pain, quicker recovery, less scarring, um, and, and women do well and feel great. So those are some of the things that go into this condition. And uh, my pitch always is to tell women that they don't have to live with it. These are common conditions that affect women that, um, that they don't have to be, um, they feel like they have to live with it or put up with it. They're good, effective, and safe options that are safe and effective and that work. And so very important to see a boy certified urogynecologist uh, who's fellowship trained like myself to help um, talk through your symptoms and see how this is affecting your quality of life because everyone's different. How it affects her is different from another. Um, talk through and after an evaluation, determine, okay, what solutions are there that are best um, to address the issue and then go through those solutions and actually come to a suitable um, um, uh, treatment. So I know it's uh, a lot of that I talked about. Again, um, the, I would love to be able to um, educate you further. And um, ultimately, uh, my goal is to see women have uh, their best life and uh, live uh, the best quality of life without being um, limited by this condition called pelvic organ prolapse. If you want more information, uh, you can reach me um, um, by my website, which is www.drstephen2bele.com. So that's www.drstephen with a ph, 2bele, T-U-G-B-I-Y-E-L-E.com. Um, and that has a lot of information, blog information, uh, and things there um, that are helpful and informative. Um, or you can reach me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, excuse me, Facebook, YouTube, or LinkedIn at uh, Dr. Stephen Tubielli. My practice website is www.northside center for urogyne, U R O G Y N dot com. And my office number is 470 325 1280. That's 470 325 1280. I would love the opportunity to talk with you, see how this is been, and listen to you, see how this condition has been affecting you. And after a thorough evaluation, this, you know, have us have a, a conversation, a discussion about what um, treatment options would work best for you and then actually moving forward with that and get you better so you can have a better quality of life. Okay. Well, thank you. Thanks for listening. And until the next video, take care. Bye.